Welcome to Big Sister Island. Today we have our guest Jeff and then our loyal member host Sean. He's a muscle man today and we are going to stay here for camping picnic. Of course we're not going to camp overnight. So that's a ferry that took us from the marina south here. It's only about 15 minutes or 20 minutes away. We will tour around this very small island. It's about 50 football field, right? Oh, lesser, lesser. Lesser. Yeah. Very, very small island. We will show you the facility of this island and then I uh, have to tell you that in this island there's a lot of monkey and a lot of mosquito and bring <laughs> uh, good sun protection for yourself and uh, inside repellent. One more thing to remind you all, uh, bring your own water and bring your own food. Make sure you have enough drinks and food to cover your stay in this island. The pub is like not even, not very safe for wheelchair. But of course, like, um, if you want to come in with a wheelchair, it's still welcome. It's just like not that comfortable. We have a certified guide here, but of course, like, uh, he is not not specialized into this island. Yes, no. Of course, that like he will share based on the, his interest. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let him talk about this. Hello. Yeah. So now we are on Sisters Island. Actually, this is formed between. Uh, we have two islands here. So just now from the jetty, you should see across. Yeah, that is the younger sister, and this is the big big sister. So big sister island over here. What usually people will do is to join and enjoy the intertidal um, pool or area to actually look at some of the uh, I'll say biodiversity here so the last time that I was here okay now it's high tide we will hope later when it's low tide we could actually have a look but uh, what we saw was a giant clam as well as very small uh, seahorses yeah so hopefully today we can also catch a glimpse of that yeah. Yeah. so yeah uh, the story of how the sisters islands are formed uh, there was a legend saying that you know uh, there was these two sisters that uh, was with a widow uh, mother so when the mom passed away they were forced to like, stay with the uncle uh, yeah, and they live happily on an island but subsequently when the elder sister uh, if i remember correctly <laughs> her name is um, mina mina correct yeah yeah, yeah mina you know it's uh, lina 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 <laughs> so lina and mina yeah, so Lina is the elder sister. When she was uh, taking some water from the well, uh, she actually met a pool of pirates. So the head pirate or the chief pirate, like the captain, uh, wanted a forced marriage. So, you know, wanted to marry her because she's so pretty. And with that, um, they actually kind of kidnapped her onto their ship. And when they were to, when they are sailing away, the younger sister, because they were so attached, actually jumped into the sea and tried to swim after the boat. So. Uh, Mina was swimming towards Lina and Lina managed to break free and jump into the sea. But sadly, the story is that they both drowned due to the stormy weather. And when the storm clears, they found that these two islands were here. So that's how the legend goes. Yeah, for the forming of Sisters Island. So along the lagoon, you can see there's a lot of hut right over here. So it's a cool place and a relaxed place that you can just put all your food over here and then go to the swim. And later on, I'll try to check out how the low tide looks like and we'll find the shower and the washroom facility and show everyone. So let's slowly walk over to find another lagoon at the front. We are at the end of the, the lagoon area. Let me talk about the facility right over here. The only washroom so here for you to wash your uh, feet. And you see this string right over here because like, they were trying to prevent the monkey go inside. So when, every time that when you finish to use the washroom, Try to eh, eh, eh. Eh. oh, untie this okay, like that. Okay, so yeah, it's my first time. So let's see. Ooh, it's very dark over here, and the place for you to wash your hand, the soap here, and changing area, urina. Oh, it's an open shower concept, and then squat toilet and the uh, seat toilet and i have to say that i did not see any toilet paper over here so in case you are coming here to use a toilet make sure you bring your own toilet paper and every time when you finish the finish your business in the toilet remember to tie up the string 
So to prevent the monkey use the washroom, they did not pay for the tax in Singapore. <laughs> yeah. Let's check out the water. Hopefully the seawater is clean enough. Eh? This mimosa. It's long time I never see a mimosa. <laughs> and I'm not sure what it is. It looks like something edible. It looks crunchy after you deep fry it. And then, ooh, ooh. check out the water. It's very, very clean. And the wave is a little bit calm right over here. It's perfect place for kids to swim right over here a little bit. Yeah. And we settled, we settled down right over there with our tent. And then we have our stuff all keep inside the tent will be safer in case a monkey attack. And so far, not much mosquito at the moment. Sean and Jeff, they are having fun right over there. And let me show you how clean the water over here. And you can see a lot of fishes. I'm not sure my camera picks so good enough to show you the fishes. But I try my best to show the angle. I think this is one of the best beach right in Singapore because that it's very quiet. And actually earlier was just three of us and came another two person come to snorkeling. He's not with the umbrella. I'm not sure why. And maybe help him to spot better sea creatures. I found a snail. I'm not sure it's edible. And then I'm going to soak in the water. And yep. I uh, just want to share with you earlier that so before we go down to the water, we see a lot of monkey. So I'm glad that I bring the tank with me. So we just hide everything inside. Then I'm sure the monkey will not take anything from us. It is raining right now. And then you can see that the monkey actually trying to find a place to, to hide. And we have Jeff and Sean right over here. We just have a bottle of red wine. important that to bring extra protection to keep you warm in case of rain so I have this bate <laughs> that to wrap you up and then for sure uh, for Jeff as well as for myself I have rain coat so that it really keep me warm and windy so my tent behind me uh, a $60 tent uh, it's not really that waterproof so <laughs> I'm glad that I do a test over here I think um, it's very important to keep yourself warm and bring something. Uh, umbrella is definitely not enough. Yeah, unless that uh, you want to hide inside the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, the only place you can hide. The tide is getting lower now. Then we are trying to explore whatever we can see right over here because that uh, from the website we know that we can get to see scallops, octopus, seahorses, uh, sea star, some snail. And uh, yeah, just follow me because at the low tide you can see more marine creatures down here. <laughs> Are you going to sing a song or something? So that's a, a Sean found a very big clam. And after a thunderstorm, heavy rain, about 40 minutes, we decided to come to explore a little bit more and we found lots of starfishes. So let me dive my GoPro into the water to show you. found out that actually the ferry, the boat pickup is at 3.40 so the low tide is 3.45 so we try our best Oh, Sean found something I'm not sure if that's dead or not 
So we try to explore as much time as we can and then we'll show you more about the difference, the low tide and the high tide. We kind of enjoy both either way. So I believe that uh, come in the early morning and then enjoy a little bit more. Oh, it's moving! <laughs> Actually, we had the space right at the back that we like it very much. It's very privacy, small and cleaner. And this is the other side. A lot of people. They're spacious, bigger, but uh, slightly dirtier to me, to my, I mean, in my opinion. Um, earlier that we came over here, we saw a very long sea cucumber and a snake. I mean, sea snake if I'm not wrong. Um, so we are going back again to try to share with y'all if we can find that again. Guess what? We found the big sea cucumber. So let me show you. After we saw the sea cucumber, we saw something looks like a sea snake. So we will try our best again to go back to the same path to show you the sea snake or you. I found it, it's just right over here. Uh, because it's quite windy, I can't see from the surface. But uh, let me go under the water and then everyone let me know what do you think, what is this? So let me show you that this is what the rubbish that we found it on uh, in the sea bed. All this. So if you have time, extra uh, carriage around you, I mean just help them to clean up some rubbish from the seaside, you'll be much more appreciated that your help. Save the marine life. Save the marine life. We are trying to look for some seahorses and then we have to try our best to go to take our ferry ferry back to Singapore Island. We actually want to go over there but within five minutes we have picked up a lot of trash right over here. So maybe when you visit the island, uh, bring an extra plastic bag uh, or something to help to take away the trash in the water. I can see that actually there's a lot of cups and uh, noodle packaging. Yeah. <laughs> This is the one that we found almost five of them. Yeah. Yep. Someone is calling me. What? 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 What is it? Snail? Yeah. Oh, there's a snail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's moving. Ooh. It looks delicious. <laughs> I'm kidding. Because that we were waiting for the low tide and then we miss out the time and Sean is like, just wash out everything and we were an hour late for the pickup time. So I'm going to call the Marina South Ferry and see what they can do for us. Okay, settle everything. So in case that we have to, uh, yeah, make sure that we have to check on time next time. <laughs> I'm just saying that we don't want to stay here until next, next Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we in this island, we are very near to Indonesia and then the mobile phone changed to Indonesia time, which is one hour behind the, our Singapore time. This is why we missed out the ferry. We are going to do an ending right over here. Right. So for me, I quite enjoy this island. It's still very private. It's a very little noise except from the family. Yeah. <laughs> and anything you want to share with uh, viewer, Jeff? Um, yeah, so just now, you know, we see we have cleared so many rubbish. So yeah, remember when you are here, just make sure we bring back whatever we brought to the island. Mm. Yeah. And make sure you're on time, we, we oh, were yes, too yes. late and we miss out the pickup time. So uh, if you miss out the pickup time from the ferry, the one-way charge for for the rescue is $90. Well, one way. But anyway, yeah, it's $90 is still okay. It's just like 3% take taxi to somewhere in town. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Sean, anything you would like to add in? 
very enjoyable here. Uh, really, like what Jim says, it's very private. And actually, the washroom is not as bad as we thought. Yeah, oh, and yeah. very clean. Yeah. And then I see a lot of starfish. Yeah. And there's no jellyfish today. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we hope you like the video and then the next time you come to Sister Ellen, yeah, just uh, let us know that you're experienced. Time to say goodbye now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>